Welcome to the Gospel Activist Podcast, in association with Stepping Out Ministries, where we explore how we proclaim the gospel of Jesus Christ in our modern context. Here is your host, pastor and evangelist, Kevin Henry. Welcome back to the Gospel Activist Podcast. In this episode, we'll be looking at who is the head of the church. It's a very important subject for us to discuss to understand who really leads the church. Is it the pastor? Is it the elders? Is it the deacons? Who exactly leads the church? But before we get to that content, I'd like to invite you to subscribe to our YouTube channel and make sure you hit that notification bell so that way you get notifications for when each new episode of the podcast is uploaded. Also, if you like the content of this episode, I'd like to invite you to hit that like button as well, too. Also, at our website, Stepping Out Ministries, you'll find different resources that can help you for discipleship and evangelism. I'm also available to help your church be equipped in how to share the gospel, so I invite you to check that out on our website. As I mentioned, today we're discussing who is the head of the church. Sometimes we have a false understanding of who governs the church, who leads the church, who are we to follow in the church. And so over these next two episodes, we're going to be looking at that today as to who governs and who leads the church. I want to share with you three points today. The first is, Jesus is the head of the church. There's no man, no woman who is the head of the church. Only Jesus is the head of the church. As scripture tells us in, first, in Colossians 1.18, that he is the head of the body, the church. Jesus is the head of the body. And it is only him who leads and guides the church. It is up to the elders then to listen to God to listen to Jesus for his direction in how the church is to move forward in the work that God has called us to do. Now this implies two things. First, it implies leadership, that Jesus is the one who leads the church. So we must follow his directions in all things. John ten fourteen says, I am the good shepherd. I know my own and my own know me. If the leadership truly are good shepherds, under shepherds of the chief shepherd, Jesus Christ, if they are good under shepherds, they're going to spend that time listening to God for his direction because Jesus is the one who leads. The head also implies control. Hebrews 2.8 says, Now in putting everything in subjection to him, he left nothing outside his control. That means that the church is under Jesus' control. And then again, we must follow him in his direction. You know, the head is a great analogy for Jesus leading the church. Because if you look at our bodies, our head is pretty much attached to our bodies. We need our head in order for us to live. In our head, it can, has our brain, which controls our entire body. And when something goes wrong with that, there's some dire results because of it. We see that in different people with different conditions where part of their brain isn't working, and so parts of their body doesn't work. The same is true in the church. If the church isn't allowing Jesus to lead it, then the church is going to be dysfunctional. So we must remember as a church that Jesus is the head, not one person, nor one group of people, but Jesus is the head. second part is, of this means that Jesus governs the church. We still think sometimes in the church that, oh, especially in congregational churches, that, oh, I have a vote, so I have a say, so I'm leading. That's not the case at all. Jesus is the one, again, who leads. He is the one who governs the church. And so we all must surrender our own desires to Jesus and allow him to govern us as the church. Colossians 2, verse 9 to 10 says, For in him the whole fullness of deity dwells bodily, and you have been filled in him, who is the head of all rule and authority. Jesus is the head of all rule and authority in the church. Therefore, again then, he governs the church. And he governs the church as chief shepherd, 
I referred to this just a moment ago as, as pastors and elders are under shepherds to the chief shepherd. Jesus is that chief shepherd. In 1 Peter 5 verse 4 it says, And when the chief shepherd appears, you will receive the unfading crown of glory. Again, Jesus is the chief shepherd. And so he governs the church. He's the one who leads and guides. If we look at that picture of a shepherd, the shepherd has a very important role as he guides and cares for the sheep. The shepherd feeds the sheep. He also tells them when it's time to go and he gets up and go. And, and when the sheep know the shepherd's voice, they obey and follow the shepherd. Since Jesus is the great shepherd, the chief shepherd, who governs the church, we as the church need to listen to his voice because he is the one who will lead us, he will guide us, and he will feed us. Yes, Jesus does use under shepherds as like pastors and other elders, but they must follow Jesus' direction first to guide the church in Jesus' direction. So the first thing is that Jesus is the head of the church. Secondly, Jesus governs the church. The third part about Jesus being the head of the church is that the church must submit to Jesus. I've already implied this, that the church must submit to Christ since he is the chief shepherd, since he is the head of the church, since he governs it. That means then, too, we must submit and surrender to Jesus Christ in all things. In Ephesians 5, verse 23 to 24, it says this, For the husband is the head of the wife, even as Christ is the head of the church, his body, and is himself its Savior. Now as the church submits to Christ, so also wives should submit in everything to their husbands. Especially in verse 424 when it says, Now the church submits to Christ. We don't like that word submit, do we? in our culture this, this day. But submission is not as the world sees or understands the word submission. Submission means to surrender ourselves, to place us under the authority of Christ, and to follow and listen to His guidance. That is what we must do as a church. We must surrender our opinion and our desires to Christ, to follow Him and His direction, to follow His opinion, in the church, people's opinion doesn't matter. I know we don't like hearing that, but it's true. My opinion in the church and anyone else's opinion doesn't matter. The opinion that does matter is Christ's. And so we must listen to Jesus for his direction and surrender to him. The church then submits themselves to God. Hebrews 2.8 says, Now putting everything in subjection to him, he left nothing outside his control. We must remember that the church is under Christ's control, so we must then surrender to him. Either way, he's going to get his way in the church because he is the head of the church. There are times where there are churches who are not following God's direction, and Jesus will still have his way with them, whether it could even include closing the doors of the church. By the way, that's not God's desire that churches should close. But when he sees that churches aren't going in the direction he wants them to go, sometimes he does do that. Main thing is, is that God wants to correct his churches when they're running amok. He wants them to follow his direction. And to the churches that are following Christ's direction, we see great blessing in that. We see how God will work and do amazing things to the church. There'll be new growth by seeing new believers come to faith. And a depth of growth because the depth of the people growing in relationship with Christ and with each other. These are the first three things that we see about Christ being the head of the church. I'd like to invite you next time on the podcast as we continue this theme of Jesus being the head of the church. I also want to invite you again to like this episode if you do enjoy it and you find this helpful. I'd also like to ask for your help by telling others about this podcast who you might find would find benefit from this. Until next time, this is Pastor Kevin reminding you to preach the gospel to any person, anywhere, anytime, and no matter the cost.
You have been listening to the Gospel Activist Podcast in association with Stepping Out Ministries. To submit a comment or question for Pastor Kevin to answer on the podcast, visit us at www.steppingoutministries.com. Thank you for listening, and we invite you to join us for our next podcast.